Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a lovely big gift bag and it's using the Sun Prince designer series paper, which is beautiful. It's a really rich dark blue with this lovely grey granite as well. Um, and yeah, and I wanted to make a nice gift bag for you. So it's all birthday seasons for me. Uh, season for me in the summer. I've got two of my son's birthday. I've got two of my brother. Well, both of my brothers. I've only got two of them. And my mum's birthday all in the summer. All, most of the, well, from the 30th of, of July through to the 1st of September. Birthday season. Anyway, nice big gift bag for you. I want to show you how to make it. So... You need a piece of designer series paper that's 12 by 12 inches. Like I said, this is sun print. So the three colours are, well, actually, there's four. Yeah, there's three blues, Pacific Point, Night of Navy and Starry Sky. And then the grey granite as well. And somebody has been sitting in my chair and has lowered it. <laughs> so I'm just a little bit low. OK, right. 12 by 12, 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimetres. If you've got a pattern that is the correct, that has a right way and a wrong way, um, this doesn't, but you start with it looking, you know, in the correct way. Okay, so score it at one and a half, five and three quarters, seven and a quarter, and eleven and a half inches, which in metric is four, fourteen and a half, eighteen and a half, and twenty nine. And my son's just come back in. And on the short side, score it at one and a half and turn it over and score it at ten and a half, which in metric is uh, four on this side. And then when you turn it over, twenty six and a half. The finished size of it, one and a half, four and a quarter, nine to, that, to this point, which is four by ten and a half by twenty two and a half centimetres. OK, so let me get this burnished up and I'm going to burnish the one that's going in the opposite direction. I'm going to get that one burnished and then I'm going to burnish this one. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tear and tape along here and then that will show, you know, once I then burnish the other ones that's not going to move. So along there and along here. Are you seeing I'm adding <laughs> Belgium and Ireland opening soon. My list is growing. There's so many of you who are absolutely thrilled and delighted, but yes, I've added little red hearts to it today. <laughs> Okay, right, so that's taped down. So now I can come in and burnish the rest. Oops. It's lovely, this colour, with the grey granite. Grey granite is a colour that I forget to remember to use. It's a, it's a soft, well, I, do you know what, I'm going to say it's a warm grey. I don't know if there is such a thing as a warm grey. If there was, I think grey granite would be it. It's almost like a stone colour. Um, very pretty. Very nice colour. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to take a tiny little bit off the top there. And a tiny, take this rectangle away. And then I'm going to cut straight on the rectangles and the squares and that's going to form the bottom and I best put these bits actually in my bin not my floor because I swept today my desks are always very tidy um, but the floor not so much I tend to sweep and hoover once a week I'm in here a lot but yeah, I swept, so I best not best not put that on the floor. Okay, so I've sealed up there. I'm going to fold the two sides and the back in. Run some more tape there. And then just seal that up. Okay, so it's where we've got this join, this changing colour here. I'm going to put my fingers there and there and push. Whoops. 
and you will get some natural resistance on the side. Now, if you've got something in there, it will the sides will crease in to the point where it stops, where you've got something in there. Um, but otherwise, it's just like that. Right, I've got some ribbon. A little funny story for you. So I decided I wanted a new ribbon rack and I got this, which is actually a tea caddy and it would hold individually wrapped tea bags. I don't know if I've got any handy. I have. So you would see something like this in maybe a rather nice restaurant, something like that with, you know, individually wrapped tea bags all in it. And I thought that's going to be perfect for my ribbon, which it is, as you can see, except you can't get them out. <laughs> you can only get them in and out if there's really nothing else in there and you force yourself. So, yeah, so I can't get my ribbon. <laughs> I want to use won't come out. Thankfully, it wasn't expensive. <laughs> the ones at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, I daren't tip it, but it's, it's shallow here and then gets wider and wider. So these ones at the bottom, they just roll backwards and forwards. But anyway, <laughs> let me get this ribbon out. Okay, that should do. Put that back on my shelf and come up with a new solution. Okay, so I've gone round a few times because I want the bag to stay closed. What I've been using prior to now is um, it's a picture rail from IKEA called a Moss Lander. Um, oh, oh, for goodness sake, look at that ribbon. Um, it's called a Moss Lander and I've used it for a long time but it just, I, my ribbon is all in one long line like that and it's just taking up desk space when actually I've got height as well, well it's not taking up a desk, it's, it's on my windowsill but I'm feeling I could go up, you know, like build houses, you go up and you don't use as much real estate. So yeah, that was my thinking behind the solution and actually to be able to bring it down onto my desk and use it but back to the drawing board okay so I've got some basic white here I've got my natural prince dies and my nature's prince stamp set and I'm going to whoopsie take the big flowery one that one and that one and the greetings do fit inside um well some of them fit in this one here but the greetings on the front are slightly bigger sorry smaller than the ones on the front so this one says a heartfelt thank you just very slightly bigger but I so I just want to make sure that it's going to fit and it's well if I went that way it probably would um, so they do fit but arguably not perfectly but I do like hello there because that one's lovely I've lost a, it's there, whoops. Okay, let's get some blocks going. One of those, we're gonna take one of them, another one of those, and this one. So let's bring out some colors. So I'm gonna take Pacific Point starry sky and then grey granite and somehow I managed to use Sahara sand last time which was you know not right okay let me just flip this paper all around so there's my grey granite put that back I'm not going to worry too much about that. Oops. And then the last one, Pacific Point. Oh, 
I'm just going to chop that off because that's those are good scraps and get my die cutting machine. Bear with me. So I'm going to use the big cut and emboss. And although we don't have the magnetic platform, I do have the magnetic platform. And given how many issues I had with die cutting the other day, I'm just going to use this one. So I want hello there on the. Oh, look, I've done it too close to the edge. Oh, well, we'll cover it somehow. And then the dies, I wanted these ones. Here. Yeah, I don't want to do battle with um, post-it notes and washi tape today, so I'm using this. And my very battered clear plate. So that was um, plate number one, the thin die adapter, the magnetic platform, the cardstock, the dies, and then a clear plate over the top. And yeah, our, unfortunately, the manufacturer couldn't meet our standards for our magnetic platform, or for a magnetic platform for us, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we haven't got one. Bit of a shame. But post-it notes do work. I'm just, yeah... <sighs> Not for today. Right, so I'm going to cover that bit up a little bit. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread my floral arrangement this way, I think. Yeah. So. Oops. putting dimensionals on the back of everything. And this one I'm going to tuck behind. But this one in front. And this one in front, and you'd never know. Oh, dropping stuff. And here we go. These are called the Solid Faceted Gems. And I'm just going to stick three of them on. And I'm taking the smaller ones. Close that, so I don't lose them. And I think those are rather fabulous. They're nice, aren't they? very pretty projects. I hope you like them. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.